Oh wait, sorry, too much. Welcome back to another video, guys. I am trying something completely new when it comes to this kind of video. So hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are chill. I'm going to try to become an animator in one day. Or technically a couple days, because being on my art journey, animation is like, I don't even know how to explain it. Animation is kind of more or less like, I don't want to say like a big brother to drawing and art. Animation is art. Animation is just like another category. It's just moving art, it's creating movies. Eventually do want to become like, not become, but I definitely want to animate my own things, like animate my own movies, animate my own things using my own original characters. So I'm going to, you know, test the waters of animation. You know what I'm saying? Um, I gotta test the waters because, you know, my drawing skills have been getting better, but I definitely need to do a tad much into animation because I need to get my animation skills up as well as my drawing skills. So it's like 1.14 in the morning uh, that I'm recording this, so please like the video because I'm losing sleep. The main program I'm gonna use to animate is Procreate Dreams because I already do have an affinity to a Procreate. They're very similar. And I also don't have time to learn another animation program for this video, so we're gonna go with Procreate Dreams. Also, I also just wanna try it as well. I bought it, like, I think like two, three months ago, and I still haven't used it because I knew I was going to be making this video. So, so yeah, Procreate Dreams. That's that's what we use it, you know? That's what we use it. So for the basis of this video, I plan to do some animation exercises that correlate the 12 principles of animation. Six initially, but I didn't know there was 12. So, even though I'm still a beginner slash amateur artist, I still think it's good sometimes to try new aspects of art, which aka animation. Okay, before I even start doing these animation exercises, I did an animation sequence one time before anything of this video. Obviously, it was the bouncing ball, but you know, cue old animation. I think I did it at work, not even gonna lie to you, like, I think I finished it at work one day, and I was just like, because I'd rather not work at the moment, I was finishing this. And it was, and I did this in Procreate as well too. Like animating in Procreate, it's still fun, it's still cool. But obviously, Procreate Dreams, you could do a lot more, and I'm gonna lie to you. So, 3:28 a.m. Want it all now? Wanna get her to the top? I wanna find out. What they see can't afford to close my eyes now. We on the way. Gotta stay up Body getting weak Seven days I be tryna catch up on my sleep I just wanna go flex for my enemies uh, Stay up with my demons We just tryna eat I've been up for days locked in like a slave Wasn't worth a single dime, needed change I've been rolling this shit like a range Used to think the whiskey help with a strain yeah. I'm a polo with a beamer I'm a copper brand new two-seater Cold as far as I looking like a freezer so I did the first bouncing ball, as you guys can see on the screen, you know, easy bouncing ball. You know, bouncing balls are always kind of easy. The only thing sucks with, I will say with Procreate Dreams is that it doesn't have some of the same gesture function as Procreate. Like it would be easier to make the ball like symmetrical each time with like the tool in Procreate where you like you just circle and then you press hold and it becomes like a perfect circle. I don't know, or maybe I haven't figured it out yet. But Procreate Dreams. Or what's the studio that makes Procreate? I forgot, but whatever studio makes them, yo, I need that feature ASAP, dog. Just to take it a step further, I'm going to try to see if I can do some animation by adding like a tail to the ball. So like a ball and then like a tail, um, relax. As well as doing like some foreshortening as well. So like the ball coming like into the screen and then like coming out, like what I just did with my finger. So that's definitely gonna be the challenging part. So we'll see how that goes, to be honest. Let's get straight to it though. ball animation so I did two I don't know if I said that already I did a normal one and then I tried to do another one with you know foreshortening like it going to the background with the tail I will say doing the one with the tail was very hard of like keeping track of like how the tail moves over time it's playing on the screen um, but overall it was just like mad hard I'm not even gonna lie to you like okay it wasn't mad hard but it was like definitely like a little challenging which is what I need if I want to become a great animator one day 
if I want to animate an episode. No, not even that though, but it was just like, I guess, cause I guess the point is to like, just like match it as it's like bouncing. So that's what I was trying to do all the time. And then obviously doing like the force running. Oh my God, that's so much harder. Someone said on the internet, just because you can do it once didn't mean you master it. So it was in the future, I'm probably gonna have to go master the bouncing ball. I'm gonna have to master all these exercises, so. Okay, wait, comment down below. Which one do you think is more annoying, a fly or a mosquito? Low key, I ain't gonna lie to you, I think flies are way more annoying. Granted, because they could be inside. Mosquitoes are outside, but I'm in their element, so I can't blame them. You know what I'm saying? Like, the females need our blood to make babies. Flies have no business touching my feet. No business buzzing around and touching me. The premise of this one is to like animate a fly like buzzing around, like kind of like a dog with wings and stuff like that. For this exercise, I have to utilize more of like zipping fast action um, movement because obviously flies move very fast, very annoying. So let's see how that goes. I finally completed the animating fly. It was pretty fun. I actually like that exercise because like it just it's so easy to do. Like you literally you have to just draw dots and dots and then just attach wings after each one of them. And there you go, you gotta fly. I really like that. I'll probably say that's my favorite so far. Really do love that. And um maybe one day I'll do like multiple flies flying around to make it seem like it's garbage. But no, still hate flies, but love animating flies, not gonna lie to you. Like it's really cool. Like, I guess that this one's supposed to teach me like the squash and stretch and plus as well as like timing. So it doesn't look like the fly's teleporting, but it also make it look like he's flying. So, what about arcs, exaggeration, and appeal? I'm pretty sure that's what flies. So taking inspiration from Fancy Pants for this exercise, comment down below if you remember playing the game Fancy Pants. I used to love playing that game, bro. Like, yo, that game was like goaded. Like, I'm surprised it, ha it hasn't made like a comeback in some form. Like, please, can we get Fancy Pants back? Please, I'll start the petition. Honestly, to think I feel like my generation of like 98 to like 04 babies remember the days of playing like OG computer games back in the day, after school or even in school. That's when like Adobe Flash was used to be like the junk, bro. It used to be like the thing, man. Man, I love Adobe Flash, I can't lie to you. I mean, I love playing like the games, all that stuff. Like when you try to play it now, it's garbage. Like they still have all the OG games, don't get me wrong. But like, it's so different then, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to remember all the websites like shockwave.com, hacked free games, Y2K, Friv. Oh my gosh, comment down below if you remember any of these, bro. The last animation in this video I'm going to be attempting to do is a walking sequence. This one is probably the hardest one of the night, not gonna lie. Bouncing ball was easy, fly wasn't too bad. This one, this one gonna be a game changer, I feel like. Or not a game changer, but like definitely a step above. Cause like uh, making a walking sequence of like this, like constantly walking is hard. Cause like, even though everyday walking is like easy to us, but making it look like it's a walk and not a person that's on meth is the hard part. finish the last animation for this video the walking sequence 
boy, will I tell you, this one was way harder than I thought. I thought it was gonna be easy, like doing like this. It is so hard. Now, I, oh my gosh, I have so much appreciation for like anime when they're running and fighting. I was like, yo, just making him do a simple walk is crazy. Definitely had to like do some research and like to find out like some help regarding this walking one. Obviously, I had a feeling this one was gonna be hard, but I didn't think it would be like, okay, I will say it wasn't like that hard because like my first one, this is my first, this is like the first sketch animation. Is it ugly? Yes, very ugly. Yeah, it's very ugly. I gotta do something like way better. So then I did this one, the one that's playing on the screen that looks way better of like homeboy walking. I try to do, the main, is, the main hard part for me was definitely getting like the legs to look right. Cause like for this one, this one's like harder because, no, not that it was harder, it made it easier coloring the legs in so I know like what's the difference so that he's not doing like walking and then like repeating a walk necessarily or like a movement in the walk necessarily so boy that one was hard i ain't gonna lie to you like i gotta do something like way better so then i did this one the one that's playing on the screen that looks way better of like homeboy walking i try to do the main is the main hard part for me was definitely getting like the legs to no not that it was hard it made it easier coloring the legs in so i know like what's the difference so that he's not doing like walking and then like repeating a walk necessarily or like a movement in the walk necessarily so boy that one was hard i ain't gonna lie to you like i can't imagine mappa like creating those crazy anime scenes in within like one week i cannot i better hide from mappa for real i'm definitely gonna split this video up i don't know how long this video is but i'm definitely tired 